Hello children. Today we are going to study the first chapter of English literature. This is a poem, very beautiful poem, Silver by Walter De La Mare. It is a 14 line poem. I have already told you about rhyming scheme. So this poem follows a rhyming pattern of A A B B C C D D E E F F and G G. Firstly, we will recite the poem. You will sing along with me and then I will tell you the meaning of each line. Slowly silently now the moon walks the night in her silver shoon. This way and that she peers and sees silver fruit upon silver trees. One by one the casements catch her beams beneath the silvery thatch. Couched in his kennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog from their shadowy coat the white breast peep of doves in a silver feathered sleep a harvest mouse goes scampering by with silver claws and a silver eye and moveless fish in the water gleam by silver reeds in a silver stream okay so this beautiful poem is about the silver light of the moon the poet describes the impact of the silver light of the moon that has on everyday objects and creatures existing within the dark and night the poem begins with a speaker stating that the light of the moon is casting down on earth moon ki lights pad rahi hain earth pe in the first stanza from line 1 to 4 it has been described that the moon is moving through the sky it is moving as one would expect Slowly and silently, moon कैसे move कर रहा है Slowly and silently. The speaker refers to it as she, and describes how she is walking through the night. She makes her way through the night, taking her time to peer and see everything. The meaning of peer is giving to peep, झांकना. वो सब कुछ देखना चाहती है. There is one element of the night time scene that catches her eye especially: the silver fruit upon silver trees. because of the shine of the moon because of the light of the moon everything has become silvery that's why everything is denoted as silver the one who reads it will notice that silver is used to describe almost every sight seen by the moon it is her own shining that which casts the stint upon the ground she is drawn in by the beauty of her own life force which first shows itself on fruit trees sabse pehle fruit trees pe these represent life and bounty that means the important and joyful elements of the world now the fifth line that is one by one the casements catch her beams beneath the silvery thatch couched in his kennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog here the meaning of casements and thatch are given casements is a window or part of a window set on a hinge so that it may open like a door okay so now the beam of moon the moonlight one by one the casements scatch the casements scatch the light of the moon the beam of moon now touches the thatch the silvery thatch thatch means a roof covering of straw or similar material the roofs of huts or some roofs which are made up of straws and the same kind of material the moon and her eye is soon drawn to the casements the small metal bits catch the light so beautifully the moment described in the first couplet of this section happened beneath the silvery thatch this is a reference to the roof of a building like a house in this case here the light has found a place to shine within the confines of a home that is likely not very elaborate a thatch roof is most often made of straw or similar similar material so when the moonlight makes the windows and the roof shine in the next two lines couched in a kennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog now the speaker moves on to something with more life a dog This specific animal is sleeping like a log in his kennel. Children couched means lie down for rest. 
specific animal is sleeping like a log in his kennel or outdoor shelter here without his knowledge the moon touches him and turns his paws silver uske panjon ko apni moon light se silver kar deti hai this is a magical moment now we come to the ninth line for their shadowy coat the white breast peep of doves in a silver feathered sleep a harvest mouse goes scampering by with silver claws and a silver eye now the speaker moves on to another type of creature a dove in this case many doves they are within their shadowy coat or shelter they are sleeping all the world is resting the silver light touches the doves this time as well as the harvest mouse ek bahut important cheez jo notice karne wali hai is poem mein wo ye hai ki poet has chosen the least remarkable subjects for his poem the mouse dog dove all these are not given much importance they are enhanced and made more important by their closeness to the light of the moon the mouse has been made more beautiful by its silver claws and silver eye now we come to the last two lines of the poem and moveless fish in the water gleam by silver reeds in a silver stream the final couplet of the poem evokes a feeling of peace and movement that encourages a reader to imagine the description immense description given by the poet the poet speaks about the fish which are also sleeping they are moveless in the gleaming water the fish are sleeping by silver reeds what is silver reeds silver reeds beta reeds are the tall grassy plants which grow in water or marshy ground the fish are sleeping by these silver reeds and the moonlight moves steadily within the silver stream it is easy to fantasize the river moving in the night time landscape through till morning so as the poet has described all these creatures and objects so beautifully there is nothing remarkable about them during the day but at night they are enhanced and made more beautiful because of the silver moonlight so this was the explanation of this poem now i'll be giving you a summary of the poem in the next slide your word meanings are also given below the poem you have to write the poem the word meanings and the summary you have to note it down from the slide and whatever query you have whatever doubt you will have from the poem i will you just comment it on the comment box and i will clarify it in the next video thank you